Now, I'm sure everybody who's listening likes dogs. I like dogs. Everybody loves dogs, don't they? Let's be honest about it. But not all dogs are looked after properly, and that's why rescue centres are needed. Now, today we are talking to... Di Warby from Doberman Rescue UK and Europe, also known as Drew. Ah, well, that's a good, that's a good name, isn't it? It's a great name. <laughs> so how long has this been going? Um, we were established in October 2016, so quite a few years, um, yeah. I mean, it must take a lot of money to run something like this. It does. Um, the kenneling fees are crippling, and that's, that's our biggest area, and also um, veterinary uh, care as well. So some of the rescues that we take in that are surrendered, some are in great health, and we can move them through quite quickly with very little intervention. Others come in and they're mentally, physically scarred from abuse or from the conditions that they've been living in, and they do need a lot of care, rehabilitation, before we can rehome them. So basically, if you didn't exist, these dogs would just be lost. Yeah, we are the last hope really for them. A lot for the lot of them. We've just got um, two coming in next week uh, or in the next couple of days who were on a limited time. They've just been told they were going to be put to sleep due to um, lack of space in, in kennel facilities. So we're taking them and it's a sort of 11th hour rescue bid to get them. And we've had a few over the last year where the needle's been booked at the vets and we've gone in and managed to rescue the dog and get it back out. And now they're healthy dogs living fantastic lives. It's really sad, uh, but you know, we can make a difference. Yeah. Why Dobermans? Well, Dobermans, for, well, I guess for us, um, a lot of us have had Dobermans in the past and uh, we've become a breed-specific rescue because Dobermans are quite, um, quite unique in some respects. They've got great characters, they're very, very loyal, but they also, um, they're very athletic dogs. Um, they've got minds of their own sometimes and they need some boundaries. And unfortunately, that's one of the reasons we see the rescues coming in. People have had them as puppies, thought they were great, not given them any boundaries, not taken them out for any exercise, kept them shut in. The dogs have become frustrated. They've got too bouncy, jumping all over, chewing furniture, and they don't want them anymore. So they've either abandoned them just out of the door, which is what we've seen, dogs on the side of the road, um, chipped, but the owners don't want them back. And we've also had people coming and bringing them into the rescue uh, so we can take them. So um, Dobermans are, um, as I say, they're, they're quite, they're quite a character, um, but they need, they need boundaries and they need exercise. And they need somebody who has got experience of large breed dogs. And that's why we, we've specified uh, just Doberman only or sometimes crossbreeds. But yeah. Now, you must have a website or a Facebook group so people can find out about the good work that you do. So the website is uh, dobermanrescueuk.co.uk. You can also find us on Facebook and we've got an Instagram as well. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us today. We wish you all the best with your project. It's my pleasure. Thank you.